Let's look at the solution to our predictor impact quiz where we consider the Intel Pentium 4 Prescott processor that spends 30 cycles until it finally resolves branches, uses branch prediction and multiple instructions per cycle so that in a program where 20% of instructions are branches and where 1% of branches are mispredicted, it gets a CPI of 0.5 overall. In this CPI, we are getting some ideal CPI Plus, for branches that we mispredict 1% of the time, we pay a 30 cycle penalty because we resolve branches really in the 31st cycle. And that means that the ideal CPI is equal to the actual CPI we are getting minus the CPI penalty from branches. And if we multiply this out, we get 0.06. So X here, the ideal CPI with a perfect branch vector, would be 0.44. Now when 2% of branches are mispredicted, our CPI will be equal to X plus, for branches, we mispredict 2% of the time and we pay a 30 cycle penalty. So we get 0.44 plus this, which multiplies out to 0.12, for an overall CPI now of 0.56. So the key to solving this again was that we were given the actual CPI. We needed to compute what the ideal CPI is after we remove the branch penalty. And then we compute the new branch penalty and add it to this ideal CPI to get this answer.